Smith, number five. Hurst. Yes, it's in. Richie. Richie's moving for the return. That's a good ball. Cool moving behind the play. Fear in the middle. Here's Richie. That's a good effort. Oh, what a good goal. Nice play by Bristol City. Hurst. Celtic and Morton player. Nicely played through, this is Pedic. And again. Mahoney. Still Mahoney. Conroy. Or rather, green off. Green off on the turn. Wagstaff. Hegan. Parkin. Dugan. Let it be said, an Arsenal defence without the stabilising influence of two men. And there's Hornsby going in. Oh, we were clearing the defence at one end. Oh, good tricks there by Wagstaff. And beautifully played for McCallion. What a good piece of play by Wagstaff. And he's got Richards and Dugan up in there. Richards reacting just a little quicker than Blockley, too. Turn back again, he hoped towards Wagstaff. Chambers now, and Dugan, and a simple one. Stoke, however, did achieve more success in the Watney Cup, a pre-season tournament organised for the highest scoring teams in each division. Hull City were their opponents in the final at the Victoria Ground in August 1973. Greenhouse! Oh, yes! Mahoney. Robertson. Everything left of him in the striped shirts. He's got three to find. Green off. Beauty. Casper. And in comes Newton. Well, Waldron it was. Waldron the scorer. Power could have produced something then. Webster. Davis. McGowan. Well, I really don't think you could ask for a better goal to start the season with than that. All five forwards up. Number 10, Francis Lee. Aimed at Bell, who got their law! What a moment for Dennis Law. Opens the scoring on his second league debut for Manchester City. 13 years after he made his first. Number eight, Francis. 
Oh, he did well, and it's there by Bob Hatton. Birmingham defence have done well in the absence of John Roberts. Bell! Marsh. That's Hind in front of him. Looking for Law! The perfect finish for Dennis Law's perfect day. Simpson with the free kick. Charlie George coming for this one, dummying there, and Kennedy now! Yes! Ray Kennedy, 1-0 to Arsenal, with less than two minutes gone. Crossed again there towards Redford, yes! Two nothing. Pace really has flagged now, and I'm surprised it stayed as high as it has for so long in this tremendous heat. Ray Kennedy. Playing it through for Alan Ball again. Here's a chance for Ball. 3 0. With three minutes left. Preston really way back now. Offside flag is up against Aitken. Johnny Hollins, who's got to take it. Young Tom McAllister, the 19-year-old Scott, who's got to face it. And it's one more. Now Garner for Chelsea. Ran straight into trouble, and it's with Tony Curry. Letting one fly, and a beautiful goal! Tony Curry, a superb goal! That fell nicely for Bowe. And uh, Alan Woodward is all right, he's onside now. Can this put Sheffield United ahead? He has! Alan Woodward, 2-1. Natris. Gets his centre in. And a goal! And the scorer is McDermott. Kennedy, nice ball inside, George with a shooting opportunity and a goal, Charlie George has equalised in the sixth minute. Moore to McDougall, Lockers behind him, Best and Robson on the far post, in goes Best. up the one wonders should Kevin Keenan have come for it but the bulk of Clyde Best really telling there. Ten minutes before half time another of Graham Patton's long ones. Well done by Cross. Uh, Rollins rather Rollins again Mella turns well
and West Ham bring up more defenders. Tommy Taylor for a start. Billy Bonds as well. Robson again on the goal line. Tommy Taylor at the front of the goal area. Bonds coming towards it. Robson. Robson coming off the goal line. Gets a back to him. And it's it. Still a penalty and Ferguson now has the chance to try and keep Patton that tremendous left foot out. With just eight minutes left. No chance of saving that one. Graham Patton who has been a lifesaver before. and playing on says the referee and that's a sign already a good point in the referee's favour that he seems to be wanting for this game to flow as much as possible and there's a very good ball that sends Middlesbrough on their way again and this must be a great chance past Jackson and it's there by Hickton and Middlesbrough go into the lead good piece of shutting here by Armstrong though not letting Roffey get away Mel Blythe that's not a bad cross either but Craig to no goal to McMordy. Hickton is onside, put onside by Callum on this side of the field. And now Hickton on his way again. Taylor coming back. And a great goal! Beautifully played there and scored by Mills. Mills, the scorer, putting Palace behind again. So the Palace wall with four men in it. Craggs playing it for Mills, hit across that goal, and this could be number three, Foggin is there, Jackson is all over the place, and it's Taylor who puts it in. And now Palace are really in the most terrible time. Whittle. Comes to Roffey. Posse going in for this one, and Platt was there before him though, and fog on the overhead, but only as far as Cannon. Palace now with everybody forward. Cannon included. Oh! oh yes! Now whether that was Cannon's or whether that too was a deflection off foam is hard to say, but the goal counts. Mainly to Gray. To Lorimo may hit one from there. A goal! Oh! A typical Lorimer effort. And Lorimer, who's already scored, Cooper is the goalkeeper who has to get in the way. And there's the man with the most blistering shot in football. He's already hit one past Cooper from 30 yards. This one is from merely 12. Place! Former Bolton Wanderers winger, Roger Hind has gone on to the goal line. That was the head of McQueen getting that away. Page. Taylor. Gray, and Gray's off on his own. He's got Lorimer and Jones in support. Lorimer is onside for his hat-trick, is it? Yes! A straightforward one, two, three hat trick for Peter Lorimer. Good call there from Harper, I think, and perhaps a little bit fortunate to get it to Collard, but it's BT now for Ipswich. Through the middle is a good one to Lambert. It's a lovely one. Mills with a kick. Up goes Greenoff and Johnson. Morgan and Makari here on the ball. George Graham going forward. It's a good one. Trevor Anderson with four and a half minutes left. Trevor Anderson with 
his first goal of the season and indeed some would say almost the first thing he's done in the game but what an effective touch that was Bell knocked down by Stringer straight to Lee good shots yes Bell herring into the middle, what a lovely pass! Oh, yes! Jeffries making a tackle, dangerous pass that has been and it's a goal! An own goal by Eric Shedlone. 20 minutes and it's Jim Jeffries' pass that put that one in. It's three against three. Erdogan is on and what a goal! Kenny out. Remember that Hearts haven't beaten Hibs here at Tyne Castle for ten years. Stevenson's return is on! What a run! Ford! It's a goal! Seesawing dramatically. Hearts three, Hibs one. Busby. And it's there. 79 minutes. Draw Busby. 4 1 for Hearts. More outlet kit shots. Kid hanging back behind the attack. There he is, number eight. Three on the edge of the area. There's the gap for Kids. Being told to go in by George Graham. Searching ball from Jim Smith to Natras. Still Natras. Oh, yes. Storming finish to a very ordinary match. Here's Hibbett. Clark. Tudor getting up. But Howard. I think it was Howard that got the touch for Kerr to uh, play the short one to Malone and now for Kerr to cross one into that Oxford penalty area oh and a magnificent goal what a tremendous goal by Dennis Stewart well that is a goal of the season Daracott Royal to Connolly Good ball for Machin. Powell, Machin. Click on from Sainty, and that's Boyer with number two. Phil Boyer gets number two. It's so nice to see that those lads who were played for Bournemouth. Free kick to Ipswich. And here they come with Mills. Mills going forward, he's going to try one. Bonds really went uh, 
roaring in for that header and must be wondering like the rest of the West Ham side how on earth do you beat Peter Schilke? But here's Brooking now, or rather Robson now with a great chance and that'll do! A terrible mix-up in the Leicester City defence. West Ham now just about five minutes away from what could be their first win of the season. Oh, but here's Worthington away now. Now, maybe this is it. And it's not the first win of the season because Worthington has equalised. A goal out of nothing. Pivot going on the left side. McDonald's free in the middle. There he goes. That's the way to score them. That is the way to score them. Cassidy. Donald. Tudor now. 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two -two and John Tudor, the happiest man in that Newcastle side, a form of Coventry player. Shivers. Well, good dummy then by Shannon. Clark catching it long here for Peters. Brought it down neatly. Shivers the challenge. Could have been Chivers, it could have been Shannon. On the other hand, it's more likely that Hattenberger got the last touch. Only as far as Bell. Curry. Far post is Clark. Oh, neatly done. That will do indeed. And a clock. It's 2-0. Hunter, plenty of room to move forward. A oh, well brought in by Bell. Clark, and again, he got it the second time. Alan Clark gets his second goal of the afternoon, of the evening rather. It's 3-0 England. Evelyn Hughes on the attack for England. Alan Clark again. Has it come for Clark? Shot. And he got it in, he has. Did he get his hat-trick? The ball is in there now anyway from Shannon. It's 4-0. 4-0. Shannon finishes it off. Curry. Shivers. McFarland losing his feet when he needed them most then. Etmar flicking it on and Sturrock didn't chase on. Hunter. Evelyn Hughes. Clark is wide to his left. Everybody wants to score. Eagerness of England now. That's Curry going for that ball from Hunter. And that's number five from Martin Chivers. 15 minutes into the second half. And again from Hunter. And we started the last attack. Tony Curry. Maidley. Faced by Eigenstiller. Hits Starrick. Shannon up. Down for Curry. Six nothing. Tony Curry. That's his first ever international goal. This attack building up again. The chance is on for Bell. Colin Bell makes it seven. Well, that breaks the sequence. It's been seized up to now. So much of the check breakaway moves stem from this play. There's a shot, and it's a good one. And it's a goal! And that's disaster! Absolute disaster for Scotland! Big Jim Holton going down into the box to try to get to it. Over it comes. Holton's there, and it's there! niespodziewanej sytuacji, a jednak nic z faktu nie zmienia sędzia podąża w kierunku środka boiska. Przygląda się jak piłkarze petują 
zdobytą przez siebie bramkę. Dwóch Kawajczyków zbiera te odbite piłki. Lato, no i teraz dwóch na dwóch. Domarski Lato. Ale już zwolnienie, już jest piątka Walijczyków i teraz będzie bardzo trudno. Gadocha. Dośrodkowanie, Lato, blisko, bramka! Cudowne nagranie Roberta Gadochy. Będą robili wszystko, aby uratować twarz. Ale tymczasem atak polskiego zespołu. Długo się składał, ale jest Jan Domarski. Jan Domarski 3-0 w siódmej minucie drugiej połowy. The priority now was promotion from the second division. Donaghy. Ali Brown! That's the goal that Albion have wanted. Albion funneling back. Porterfield. Horswell. And over again for Kerr. Malone. Hallam. Big Hallam, the scorer. Sunderland producing a goal out of what didn't at first look a dangerous situation. But it was well taken nonetheless. And England poised to make a late run. But in fact it skills in a little back header. Coates. Pugin in, Ralph Coates. 1-0. And Coates has done it. From Chivas long throw. And now Francis. And that's Mick Leach. Thomas with a shot and a goal. Queen's Park Rangers have scored in the second minute. A goal by Thomas. Thomas. Francis with a shot and it's a goal. Jerry Francis has scored for Rangers now. As is his skipper, Terry Venables. So free kick to Rangers on the edge of the box. And it's there! A third goal for Queen's Park Rangers. The scorer, Mick Leach. Give it again. Tudor! And he scores! At long last! John Tudor scores for Newcastle. Donald for Hibbert. Tricks his man. And that's a good one. Tudor! John Tudor has scored. After three minutes of injury time, at the end of the second half, John Tudor has made the score. Newcastle 2, Queen's Park Rangers 3. A beautiful ball towards O'Hara. He's on his own. There's McLean coming up. Looking for support inside. Cross not hard enough. John Gregg. Whoa, what a goal! Start missing out and that gives McLean to John Gregg. What a goal! by Giles, that was Clark, Jones getting up, yes, Saru went in with Hurst, now Conroy, and again he slipped Cherry, Bates is the covering player, another good cross from Conroy, yes, and it's been scored by Dennis Smith, the big centre-half up from the back, getting up at the far post, and Leeds have been pulled back. Taking it all for risk there, but winning in the end, beautifully beating Venables and Leeds, and there's the ball now for Alan Hudson. Played forward for Canberra, back for Osgood, blasting it against Mancini, Webb following it in. And Locke.
just keeping it in, taking two challenges and still winning. And now it's with Locke for Chelsea. A cross in there, and oh yes, an own goal by Mancini. Well, Chelsea's build-up was magnificent for that. Venables, mastermind in the middle of the field for them. Hazel. Good looking cross there. Givens was hopeful of getting in there and it fell for him again. Bowles, yes! The goal is given. Stan Bowles has equalised. Jim Bone for a moment, shaped as if to take it, but it's Peter Shilton, England's goalkeeper, to face a penalty from Alan Woodward. Mr Morrissey not yet happy that everyone is... No, I think there may have been a word, a few words said. Woodward. 1-0. Alan Woodward's fourth goal of the season. Even an England goalkeeper can't really stop shots like that from 12 yards range. Rolf. Birchinall. Up towards Stringfellow. Coming out to Farrington with a clear shot. Across the goal. There's the... Oh, the line! It looks like a penalty or a goal. The goal has been awarded. The goal has been awarded despite the hoops dive. It had crossed the line. Kaliog wide for Hibbett. Daly goes again. Oh, it's a bad pass back from Young. Good job Graham was there. And a shot on for McCallion. And a goal! Jimmy McCallion. Pivot, Taylor wide to the right. Munro. Chance to feed him again? No, gives it to Daly instead. Now Taylor. Good running by the fullback. And Dugan! A fantastic goal! What an incredible goal by Derek Dugan! 16 minutes into the second half and Alex Stepney's beaten again. It's 2-0 and Dugan, that is one of the most acrobatic goals he'll ever get in his life. Well, Kidd certainly has covered just about every blade of grass on this uh, lush Molyneux field this afternoon. Woody Morgan, the cross. Carry on for Bucken. And there goes McElroy with the first goal for Manchester United. A moment of uh, bad defensive covering. Lost it to Masson. Randall. Outside him, Probert. Nixon has gone into the middle. Needham there, uh, uh, Brad there too. And Matt, yes! Just over 20 minutes gone, and Notts County get the goal, which really their football has earned them. Horswell. Has Malone outside him. Plays a long one for Hallam. Kerr. Porterfield. Still going on. That's for Hughes. Hughes with a chance and a goal! In the 20 minutes of the game, Billy Hughes puts Sunderland ahead. So another corner, this time on the right. To be taken by Sunderland's captain, Bobby Kerr. Swinger. It's there. It's there from Vic Hallam. Sunderland 2, Sheffield Wednesday nil. Hughes, Stewart. He's got Hallam free. Good ball. Now what can Hallam do? Gives it to Bobby Kerr. Porterfield. What a goal! What a great goal by Ian Porterfield. Bernard Shaw. Sunley. Coyle to hit one. And a goal! 3-1. Chivers and Story. 
having a tremendous scuffle now, and Gilzean has done it. Gilzean has done it. It's a free kick, and it's Knowles who's going to take it. Mike England has come up with his arm waving on the far side. It won't get to him. Oh, but it gets to Chivers. 2-0. Martin Chivers. Well, they must have been watching England. Aiming for Springer. Samuels. On for Worthington. The touch. Oh, beautiful goal. Oh, yes, indeed. Frank Worthington. Beautifully done, Weller. Stringfellow trying to knock it back to one of his own men. He wasn't there. Stringfellow gets another bite. Chance on for Birchin or the whack one. And it's a beautiful goal. What about that one with his left foot? Hunter for Maidley. Searching for Clark. Bates early for Giles. Lorimer under this. It's a good ball, Jones! Yes, indeed. Mick Jones pulls one back. So now it's 2 1. Hunter. Now Giles. And Woolett comes away with it. But they say he handled the ball. So, an awkward free kick for the Leicester defenders again. Giles through, Bremner. And he's allowed it. He is allowed the goal. It's 2 2, and Bremner scored it. Well, there was a case of the Leicester players at sixes and sevens. Not sure whether the wall was back far enough. Lato screaming down the right side. Left, left side rather. Now it's Lato against McFarlane and the duck, the duck is over there. The shot is on for Damaski. Oh, he scored! damaski has got a goal! one nothing Poland. The tragedy that England might have expected. The Poles going mad. Alan Clark. The eyes of over 100,000 people here at Wembley on him and the goalkeeper he hopes to beat. Tomaszewski. Shilton can't even look at all, though. Clark, he's got it. 1 1. And England are back in the game. Lacey. Wasn't a good ball by Lacey. This is Stewart. Now Hallam. Now Oswell. It's bouncing awkwardly. Whether it went in before Hughes touched it, I don't know, but it's got to go down as a goalkeeper's error. Hughes beautifully pulled down. Murray getting there first. And it's going to be an own goal, yes! And that's certainly the end of Fulham. Well, their claim that they've beaten themselves, a goalkeeper error followed by a mistake by the captain for the second. That was Newton, Davis, nice turn. This is Hinton, Newton's pushed forward as well. It's Davis! No one seems too sure, but Weller is now taking another free kick from further back, probably wrongly placed. Worthington, and away by Davis. Given back to Leicester by Gemmell. Here's Worthington with a chance. Yes! Well taken, Worthington. But really, Derby have only got themselves to blame. Here's Davis. Hinton. McGovern's on the far post. Oh, my word! Aston. Oh, Brisley said thank you very much for that. Queen. Epaulette. Brisley's right in there again. He's still there. Played back for Jerry Queen. Hitting one. Yes, that will do from Queen. And a goal that Orient deserves. 
struck home with great power and beautiful accuracy by Jerry Queen. Wally. Queen. Played beautifully by Queen there for Wally. A little chip back again. Oh, what a magnificent goal by Fairbrother. What a tremendous goal by Orient. Well, that was a magnificent piece of build-up again by Orient. Pivot. For Daly. Again, reaching for Dugan across the box for Richards. Gets it down and scores. Eventually it had to happen. A minute and a half left of the first half, and John Richards scores his second goal of the season. So we're going on, and Rangers are at 10 men as the free kicks taken, and Bowles takes the shot now. And he gets the equalizer. There it is, 1-1. Into the second half, and Stambles, a very happy number two. Thomas with the uh, corner. Mancini. Leach. What a great goal. Mick Leach. It's two on the Rangers. For a long time in the first half, we thought we were going to get no goals at all. Hibbit. Now Daly for Wolves. They've really got to work now. Hard and low, it's there. And I think Sutherland has got it. Sutherland and McClintock went there. Sutherland slipped. Certainly claiming it for himself. Park in. <laughs> Leaving it for Daly. A good head. Sutherland was the boy. Got on the end of it. And Thomas absolutely streaking out for Rangers. Over the side is Bowles. Has he seen him? He has. He can't miss it, surely. He didn't. What a glorious move out. The scoreline is 3-2 in favour of Rangers now. No, it's Francis placing the ball down there. Coolly. So that race by Leach. A call stops him, and the penalty. Francis takes it. It's 4-2 Rangers. A minute and a half of the game left. The referee saying play on. He may well have been fouled, but the referee playing the advantage rule. Bremner for Lorimer. Go! What a good goal! This time we were here, Malcolm McDonald had a kick, and he missed that one. Today, Super Mac, you've never had it so good. Pivot. Smith outside him. Oh, and a goal! Malcolm McDonald's second goal, and a classic one of that. doing a Jack Charlton. Booth's header, Bates' his shots! And Paul McRae just couldn't have seen that. But to beat them. Straight to Leach, here's Gibbons! Gibbons finds Clement. There's Francis. Oh, Batson was risking something there. Thomas, his balls. Bob Wilson on the floor. The defence in disarray. And Rangers are two goals ahead. Kane forward. Evans keeping off O'Neill. Now great. Little couldn't get there. Aitken does. Little! That's a good one, and Graydon gets it. Nothing wrong with it. Graydon gets the goal. 
Seven minutes gone, below one nothing. Jackson is going to knock this for Lyle to take. Mackenzie has got the equaliser. It's 1-1. One, one. So this remarkable goal-scoring machine they call Duncan Mackenzie has equalised almost on the stroke of half-time. Nickel. Aitken's gone tanking through the middle. And he's still going. And he has scored. He has scored. Aitken. 2-1. Charlie Aitken, 13 minutes into the second half. This eager attacking fullback scores his 11th goal for Villa in 473 League of Four appearances. Going to be hit across. Highway, blocked by McNabb. Way by Simpson. Did you? That's a good angle. from Evelyn Hughes. Toshek. The smiles on the face of the Liverpool players. Totally disconsolate Bob Wilson. Earl. Cross there and here he comes. Yes. Oh, he's put there. And he goes to Conway. The man finally touched it home and the desolate figure there of Len Bond because it was his mistake and now it's Conway and now played for Earl now this could be very interesting as well as Gal tries to come back still with Steve Earl still with Earl having his shirt tugged and still with Earl crossed beautifully and a goal oh and a magnificent goal for Fulham scored by Busby and made in the most magnificent fashion by Steve Earl what a tremendous goal. No wonder they're hugging Steve Earl. And now here's Richie. Ahead of him is Gal. This could be a chance now for Bristol City. Or rather, it's uh, Gillies, the substitute. Now Tainton. Across. And it's there by Trevor Tainton. Over the heads of the ball. And Bristol City have gone right back into the game. Finding Houseman. Baldwin going in the middle, number one. After two and a half minutes, Chelsea score a goal that they threatened to already. Wilkins, Ausman outside him. In the middle, Osgood and Baldwin. That's aimed for Osgood's head, and it's in! Again, the lack of a commanding head in the middle costs United dear. Morgan. Green off. Green off again. Setting it up for Young. Good shot! <laughs> Two minutes to go. And Tony Young gets his first ever goal for Manchester United. Buchan. Kid. Young. And now Greenoff. Yes! So in the 90th minute. Young returns the compliment. Including Mancini. Mancini across the box. Well out, the shot is on for Francis. And he scores it. What a good goal by Jerry Francis. The expertise then, tucking it away into the corner. one nothing Rangers. There's a surprise. Thomas with the corner. And that's number two, Stan Bowles. Oh, what a gentle, simple goal. 19 minutes into the second half. And Stan Bowles makes it 2-0 Rangers. So Archie Gemmell is the man upon whom Derby 
on whom Derby look at this moment. Here he goes with the penalty. And he gets it. That was beautifully tucked away. Left footed. So Madeley using that stride of his again. Jones. Clark. Madeley. Bates couldn't get out of the way. Jones Bates. Throw to West Ham United and Bobby Moore once again having to lift his side from beneath. It's an unfortunately familiar habit for the Hammers this season now. Bad pass, sets Jones up. Lorimer's outside him. That's for Lorimer at the angle. Clark in the penalty. Yeah, Jones! Number two! Good goal! Jones! Lorimer! Jones! Jones chasing, he's done it, I think. Yes, he has. That's three. Beautifully taken by Jones. Mainly. Hunter. Cherry now going forward for Leeds. On the left is Bates. Uh, plenty of men in the middle. Clark. Oh! A model ahead of I, Clark. And once again, Day left standing. David Armstrong began a quite astonishing run of playing every game for seven seasons. On for Lazarevich. Beautiful goal. That's done it. Callaghan to Thompson. Toshak. Lawler. Yes! Something to be added on, but not a great deal. Oh, yes! What a tremendous shot from Jankovic! Again, then just pushing extra men forward. Let it go as Ohana. Here's the bar. Con. Exactly 10 minutes, and that's the early goal that Rangers wanted. A shrewd Bertie Vox, the veteran. This is Henkes. Brimmer coming through on the left. Seal off on the right, number four has it. Oh, no one there for that one. This is a chance, and it's a goal. And that could well be that. Henning Jensen. Coming straight through there, unchallenged eventually, and with a magnificent right foot shot. Playing to the far side, Jackson trying to go up, breaks to Houston. Over it comes, Jackson still there. Two minutes played. Colin Jackson scores his second goal of the season. Young to McLean. Young onside for a turn pass. Over it comes. A back header. Houston heading it across. Here's McDonald. It's a goal. It's close. And Rangers are still trying. They will not give up. Boomer coming away. Cooley to Hankus. Hankus coming through. Now he's finding Jensen. Jensen turns it against McCloy. Picks the rebound and drives it into the net. And that could be it. Jensen the scorer. Scored in a... Best 
Chance for the shots. And it was flicked home by Kidd. Well, Best getting all the congratulations. One Spurs player on the edge of the wall is Pratt. And it could well be a little touch is going to give Chivers the chance of a shot. Knowles, in fact. Mancini, the number five, right in there again, has won some very valuable balls in the air. Here comes the corner now, a low one this time. Touched in, and Bowles, yes! Bowles has scored! Venables lifting it over as they've done before, Francis turning it in, yes! Oh, a lovely little free-kick goal! Jerry Francis, the man who scored it past that bewildered Coventry wall, Terry Mancini right up there again, wanting his share of the action. So now Venables with the free kick. Floated this time deep and straight in! Yes, that will be! That will do! Well, Venables floating it all the way in. I think that's a question mark against Bill Glazier. Good running by Kelly. And a good shot, what a tremendous goal that was! Bell back on his feet again. Lehman trots into the fray, and it'll be a free kick. Donachie or Lee? Lee. Oh, what a superb goal by Lee! It may be out of the World Cup, but they still present a great challenge to any side. As far as it concerns, it's Kinalia. Rebra, it's a good shot and a goal! Kinalia's cross and Capello has scored! letting them know what they think of that sort of play. Hope for the header, and surely Newcastle has scored! And it's given Tommy Cassidy, but a lot of the good work done by Newcastle's 19-year-old centre-forward, George Hope. Finding Best. Best's got a bit of room. Green off. Here's a chance. And a goal. The goal to Lou Macari. This is what started the move that led to Manchester's goal. Best. He's got a player free outside him. There's Graham. And a great goal. Now McDermott. Gibb trying to get round the defence. And succeeding. An old-fashioned goal by Newcastle. Newcastle with seven men in the box. Howard and Monker both gone up for this. Here it comes. Hope in the air. He scored! George Hope has scored for Newcastle. Collected by Callaghan. Good turn and a good cross. Cormac. Hunter delaying his clearance. Thompson shot. Toshak. Beat the word Keegan! The pressure paid in the end. 
Liverpool just battering away. Highway. Good cross for Keegan's head again. That really was a brilliant goal. Callaghan retreating 10 yards, Morris to take the free kick. Johnson on a run across the box, taking men out, and there's Johnson in! Beautiful header from David Johnson. So Keegan running over it, Lindsay's chip, Toshak, and it's there! Peter Cormack gets number three, and that's rough justice. Miller, charged down by Thompson, Beatty. Good cross, good header too. Beautiful goal by Hamilton, really fine goal. But Kevin Keegan on a hat-trick here. Woof! Kevin Keegan's third goal of the game makes Ipswich safe. 4 2 in front. So a spell of fierce Sheffield United pressure. Most entertaining first half, but we're still waiting for a goal. Wood with that long raking corner. What a good one! What a beauty! I think it's John Flynn. Now Woodward. Badger. Woodward. Perry moving up into the area. Woodward again. Good move. Oh, what a goal! What a magnificent goal! Keegan, Toshak and Highway up, and Keegan shots and he scored! And it's coming to Toshak, Keegan on the far post, and it's in! Toshak curling it over the head of Jimmy Montgomery. Uh, certainly uh, Phil Parks has a job on his hand, It'll be Martin Chivers who's going to take it. He has scored in the last two goals. There's Chivers from behind Park's goal. And he scored. 1-0 to Tottenham. So Chivers makes it three goals in a row. And now Pratt. Chivers playing it off again for John Pratt. Tried to get it through to Martin Peters, but Spurs, or rather Wolves, now taking it up with Barry Powell. And again, Chivers coming back tremendously fast, but still with Powell, and a goal! And a very, very good goal indeed! Tried to turn that inside for Hibbert, but Hibbert wasn't aware, and Spurs can bring it away now with Martin Peters. No, they can't. Hibbert now, and now Wagstaff again. Hit low and hard. Very often difficult to judge those, but Beale judged that one well. Now it's the turn of Jennings, although Richards crept in between Beale and Jennings on that occasion. And Dugan again is at the far post, and it took Gilzine to come right back there. Bailey to Palmer. Hit first time, a screeching shot, and a magnificent goal by Jeff Palmer. Spurs look bemused, but the goal was a beauty. Dugan to Richards. A shot there, and a goal! That time it's uh, scored by Hibbert, and that puts Wolves 3-1 ahead. There's the ball that Pat Jennings must retrieve. Alderson back for Coop. Early for Cross, it'll touch on for Steen, and that's a fine goal! What a fine goal that turned out to be! 27 minutes of the first half gone.
one nothing Coventry, and that's broken a sequence of 618 minutes plus 27. What's that? 645 minutes is the last quarter goal. Oh, he's inviting Woodward to come and join him in this uh, free, free free kick ploy. Curry over the ball, and Woodward whacks it. And he scores a fantastic goal. Wow, that is the way to hit a free kick. Alan Woodward ties the scoreline up 1 1. Cartwright. Steen knocking it for Cross, and he's going again. Coventry's entire ambition now must just be to play keep ball, not to give the ball away needlessly. And it's won well by Green, and surely crosses offside. No, he isn't. He has scored his second goal, and that certainly wraps it up for Coventry. Sheffield United players absolutely stunned by that goal. Sunderland look promotion favourites. Their away form was impressive. Hallam letting it run well for Rod Belfit. And he scored! What a simple goal. Hallam. Nasty place for Horswell. Back from Belfit. Still Mickey Horswell. Porterfield. And it went in off Hallam. Well, the build-up was good to start with, but the goal in the end, very lucky. And now it's Dobson, virtually with his first touch, and Warboys now being chased by Norman Gall. And Gall was quite clearly holding him back, and this is a goal! Yes, scored by Bannister. And Bristol Rovers in the lead with four minutes gone. Sullivan, Robertson played in the game for George Lay and Taylor once more getting it away to Warboys, Bannister once more to Warboys and Dobson in a lot of space down the left here's Dobson and three Rovers players up wanting the ball and there's number seven Fernley and that's number two a beautiful goal beautiful breakaway by Bristol Rovers nice little payoff there to O'Sullivan wanting perhaps a little too much time but then getting it a shot beautifully there by Gordon Fernley now for Jacobs again hit across that goal Bannister's header and there it is another one so as a variation they worked it down the right Stanton now behind this free kick Tom Stanton and war boys just three men in that uh, Brighton and Hove Albion wall number nine is war boys the number eight coming to the picture is Stanton it's war boys who hits it and this is going to be the next one, and it's the hat-trick for Bruce Bannister. Curling it through once more, there's more boys! Number five! Unbelievable stuff here by Bristol Rovers. Five goals away from home. Prince again. Spirit. Straight to Dobson, and into the path now of Warboys. This will be the number six, I would think, and it is! A real smash and grab again. Stanton, the uh, Bristol Rovers player, in a bit of trouble on the far side, just getting to his feet now. Parsons playing a long ball forward. Warboys is onside. Is this going to be his hat-trick? It is! To Beamish. O'Sullivan, Towner, no, stopped again by Taylor, or rather by Green, and here's Warboys onside, the linesman's kept his flag down, and that's his fourth goal, and Bristol Rovers eighth. 
Templeman. Hilton losing it. Well, no, his uh, courage carried him through and it found Towner. A low cross this time. And there it goes. That's the second one for Brighton. Scored by Ron Howe. Good call. He's all right this time. Evans comes and he scores it. Len Glover pokes it in. Birchenall. It's well a good ball. Glover with a flick on for Worthington. And that was a beauty from Steve Earle. He has crowned his debut with a fabulous goal. Shivers down. Earl back. Sam Hawes. Glover is all right. Oh, what a fine goal. That is the way to take it. Venables quickly finds Givens. Givens has another chance. Bowles. Thomas, a goal. Beautifully taken. Queen's Park Rangers deserve that. They've played adventurous football when they've had the opportunity. Hunter, as you will, strong in defence. Now going forward. Jonas. Coming through to Jones. Back for Bremner. searching talk from their manager at the interval and they're putting much more into it in this half Lorimer good header away by McClintock Yoris Jones a goal it's 2-1 the whole of the Queen's Park Rangers defence stood still Hunter Mancini Thomas to Francis. Bremner with Francis, helped by Clement, one in. Clement leaving it for Bowles. Venables, the quick flick, Francis. Bowles, yes, off a defender, I think. The equaliser credited to Bowles. For a start, they won the Texaco Cup. John Tudor taking on Kenny Burns. Goalkeeper off his line, and what a good goal! What a good goal by John Tudor. Baraclough. Tudor. Frank Clark. And he scored. Goalkeeper seemed to see that terribly late. The usual two against the usual four. The two causing damage. And still, John Tudor. Gallagher, number two, five is Hind. Francis, blocked but in. Petey underneath, not a good header, straight to Yoris. And he scored, Terry Yoris. What a disaster for Ipswich. Norman Hunter. Yareth. Jones. And another. Clark. Really just inside. Yoris on the far post, Clark going in alone. <laughs> Goal number 99 that he scored for Leeds United. 3-0 to Leeds in the 88th minute. Continued regularly to get the better of big city clubs. And Lee in so much space, and a goal! Well, Lee opens his arms and says, well, I could hardly believe I'd get that amount of space. Now, can West Ham pull back that one-goal deficit in the last minute of the first half? Best. Played for Lampard. 
Forward now for Brooking. Is this the chance? And it is! Trevor Brooking! 1-1. Moore. Gould. Nice layoff again for Patton. And Patton has gone past Pardo. That's the cross, and it's a good looking cross, and it's an own goal by Doyle. Well, it was Patton's brilliant work down the left. Into the 70s now. Wow, colour too. And Hull City were now very much part of the region, along with Grimsby, Lincoln, and Kevin Keegan, Scunthorpe. So the corner kick situation, Hinton. To Carla, McFarland has scored it. Number five, Roy McFarland. What a beautifully taken corner. Exciting youngsters made their mark too, like live wire David. Warboys nodding it down for Bannister. Back to Warboys. He lets it go. It's there. It's a very good goal. Peters. Played wide again towards Coates and Evans. Coates getting it across nicely. And McGrath has scored. Chris McGrath, the young Belfast boy, has put Spurs ahead. Still Coates. Good play there by Ralph Coates. Oh, and a great hit there by Mike England. And that puts Spurs 2 0 ahead. Good Saev. Oh, and it's a goal there, scored by the number six, Ebra Lidzi. And Ebra Lidzi has put the Russians back into the game. Martin Chivers at the near post. Here comes the corner again. Curling on the win once more. Mike England is in there. And a headed in by Martin Peters. Mike England got the head of the cat in the first place. And Martin Peters tucked it behind the goalkeeper in the second place. It's with John Pratt for Tottenham. And here's Peters in a good position. Chivers and McGrath are in the middle. There's Chivers going for it again. Oh, what a fine goal by Chivers. Oh, a really beautiful goal there by Martin Chivers. And that will just about wrap it. Peters pushed in the back there by number three, Chilitsi. And Spurs moving with confidence now. Pratt crossing it in once more. And Martin Peters behind the ball. And Martin Peters has added another one. So the man who was injured and in doubt until the very last moment. This is Gavin. McGovern. Davis. And a goal by Roger Davis. Right against the one of the play. But on the break, it's Gavin for Derby. Taking on Clark. Oh, coming to Hinton. 2 0. And the inevitable. Has... Billy Bremner with the corner for Leeds United. Right on half time now. Bonetti beaten in the air. Jordan turning it in. Joe Jordan. Well, that was an incredible goal. David Webb coming up for this one, making his run as Hausman takes the corner. Oscar on the far side! Peter Osgood! And Hunter and Oscar are having words. The feud is going on, but the battle is level now. Maidley and Lorimer. Maidley again to Bremner. Webb getting it away. Now Lorimer. Will this be the long raking kick? It's not, but there's Jordan on the far side. And Jones! Oh, and a beautiful goal! A beautiful goal by Mick Jones. The Burns. Losing at the bonds. Looking for best. That's a useful ball. And Gould, a great one! Beautiful goal by Bobby Gould. His first one. Oh, wow! 
West Ham, and he's a happy fellow. Stunning the St Andrews crowd to silence. Or guiding it as far as Hatton. Francis, well positioned on this right side. That's not a bad cross, and a fine goal from Ken Burns. Kenny Burns makes up for the earlier miss, equalising here with about 30 seconds to go to half time. Breaks for Hendry, Lashford, and Burns, and he scored the second goal. Kenny Burns. Taylor is there. McDowell is covering the box. Shot is on for Hendry. What a save! And Hatton will make it. He does. Hatton the scorer. Got to give that goal to Hatton. Mervyn Day beaten for the third time in the game. Hutchison. Maguire for Cartwright. Acceleration made something of it and Steen's header. Now was that in? Looked to me as though Stepney pulled it back from over the line and the referee has given it. Morgan. Greenoff. West. Nice dummy and shot, yes! Parker. Alderson on a run. Still Alderson. Yes! 2 1. Best. Green off. Kari. And that's a very good goal indeed by Morgan. Steen looking it on for cross. 3 2. Ayrson Park became a fortress. 20 home games without defeat. Free kick to Lundy. Herbden looking very squelchy indeed. Wilson punching it forward. Brought down and taken on the thumb and it's a goal. Gordon Wallace has scored for Dundee as a result of that free kick. The ball punched forward beautifully by Bobby Wilson. Controlled nicely by Wallace, he turned and hit it right-footed inside Hunter's left-hand post into the back of the net. Smith under pressure, Richards away. Being chased by Lloyd, he got his shot in and a beautiful goal! What a spectacular goal! Right across for Armstrong. And Alan Ball, against his old club, has broken the deadlock. Waddle. on there beautifully by Venables to Francis played on in turn for Clement can he get the shot in oh yes 
Dave Clement. And that's 1-0 for Queen's Park Rangers. And now Leach. Now Rangers with three men up, and it's three against four. The break is on for them, still with Leach. There's Francis available on this side, now Bowles. Played this time for Venables. Francis supporting him, here's Francis. Crossed in again, Givens is coming up late. There's Givens! So Don Givens makes it 2-0. Hibbert and Howard are standing behind it. And it's Hibbert who chips it. And it's Tudor who goes in. And it's McDermott who blasts one. And it's gone in off the number three. I think it's an own goal there, off Gillard. But it's an own goal. You take the six-yard line as being six yards, say nine yards. That Rangers wall, to be fair, has got to be almost at the near post. A good three yards or so off that near post at the moment, but this could be very dangerous in the last couple of minutes. Hibbert playing it wide there, Monker hitting it through, and it's there! And they've equalised, and it's Bobby Monker who's done it. Pulled back the two goals, but here's Thomas again with another deep cross towards McLeach. Monker, the number six on his back, obliterated by the mud, and here's Leach. Got Francis free, but very few seconds are left. Here's Venables turning it in for Bowles. And he scored! Stan Bowles has made it 3 2. Through to Marsh. And he's got it again. And a cross for Bell. Pinpoint cross from Rodney Marsh and Colin Bell's head. Good header by Doyle. piece of play by Big John Roberts and a good ball to Latchford here's Campbell Hatton's calling for it on the far post still Campbell there's Latchford that's the early goal that Birmingham wanted and Bob Latchford has scored it oh that's for Lorimer and he was onside it's a good cross and it's there by Jordan. Leeds have saved themselves at the death. Number 12 is McGrath. Came on for Coates. And he gets past his man well. Referee sensibly plays the advantage. All it's come through now to Evans. Can he get his shot in? He can, and it could be a goal. Yes, it is a goal. It's a goal. Givens misjudged that, he gives Gilzine a chance, comes to Chivers. Nothing that would do Chivers more good than a goal at the moment, having missed a penalty, but it's Pratt chipping it in, and Chivers could have one here. There's yes, it has. Number two. Number two. Scullion. Aim for Morrissey's head. Yes! What a good goal! Scullion. Morgan wanting one square. Deeper for Jennings. Morrissey giving it back to Jennings with a very precise header. Number two! 
What a finely worked goal. I think Watford have scored from the spot this season. But Morrissey now can make it three. Without any trouble at all. Penalty to Southampton to be taken by Channel. So it's a corner to Coventry City to be taken, I think, by the substitute. Alan Green takes the corner. Flick by Alderson. Steel dispossessed by Maguire. Maguire gets the ball across. Dugdale's header! Keep a red robe and red robe gets it. Two minutes plus injury time left, and Hereford United grimly holding on. Out come West Ham again. Holland, he's got Tyler with him, and he's beaten him. Holland still in possession. It's there! It's there! Two minutes left to play, and Pat Holland's carried that ball from one end of the field to the other. What a sensational finish! coming on from all over the pitch and young Pat Hollands, the substitute, is the man who shakes his fists. Oh, and Morgan's round the back this time. That's a good ball. Graham was there and it was Bakari. Takes the free kick for Leicester. Stringfellow. Worthington. Stringfellow. McDonald trying a long throw. As usual, hand and free kick to be taken by Tony Jennings, their right back. Well won there by Baker and Hayner! He scored! He scored! Hendon have equalised and deservedly so. Hey to Hood. Murray supporting him on the right. Dalglish. Hood is onside. This must be a goal. Lennox scores. Lampard. Best on the far post. And that's a good goal by Clyde Best. Tyler. There's Evans. Penalty. All eyes now on Tommy Naylor. And on Mervyn Day. Comes to Tyler. There's Jones. Yes! Alan Jones has scored! There's McDonald. Keeps his head well then. Taking on Deadman. White foot shot is on and a good one! Supposedly with his rock foot. Got to go again. Didn't quite make that fully, but just enough. Now Howard. Hibbets. Oh, yes. Oh, what a cracker. Six or 
27 minutes gone. 3 0 to Newcastle. Gibb. The Devman behind him. Well used to Kennedy. Tudor. Armstrong, the player behind Craigs. Oh, and it's deflected off the wall. So the goal will go down to Johnny Craigs. Nickel. Ross. Little. Riach. Force right. Graydon. Left foot this time, he's made it! Good long throw there by Patton, Holton was really stretching for that one, Best jumping well for it, Billy Bonds! Carefully there. And now Buckham. Taylor's header. Not quite directed the way he wanted it. But now Waller. Oh, and here's a chance for McElroy. And it's a goal for Manchester United. Scored by the substitute Sammy McElroy. Taylor's gone up. McElroy going back, the crowd are giving West Ham all they can, Bonds tries to get it, there's a header there, yes, the goal is given and it goes to Pat Holland. West Ham in the lead again. Glover, well won by Bowyer, it's Cantello's ball, now Johnson. Kenzie, he's got a shot on, and he's got a goal on, 1-1. One, one. Baron's Bog is what they're christening that goal mouth now. Good punch forward, Baron under it, has lost it. One back by Brown, no it's not. It's not away yet, Hartford's nobody in goals. How be unpunished for us as Brown gets his second goal. Johnston. Trying to get away from O'Kane. Good ball. Cantella. Wide to his right. Glover. Brown and Shaw in the box. And the shot is on for Hartford. And it's in for Brown's hat trick. Tony Brown's hat trick. Two minutes into the second half. Tony Brown. Glover. Tony Brown off on a run and he's onside. He's on for his fourth. And he is going to trickle in. Fourth goal. Tony Brown. Tony Brown. 19 minutes into the second half. And that surely is curtains now. Or is this the Chivers long one? Peters. Coates turning. What a goal! Oh, what a beauty! Stupendous effort. The crowd making a tremendous din there, wondering whether in fact Woodward or Curry should take it. But somebody's gonna hit it, and it looks like Keith Eddy. A goal, one one. Well, there'll be a long debate about that all weekend. Tottenham Hotspur will claim. That foul was committed outside the penalty area. Curry. Kamak. A goal! 2-1! Two Wait two a minute! Kamak! Well, two seasons ago when 
these sides met. It was 2-1 and a long throw from Chivers brought a goal for the equaliser. And here is Pratt. McGrath, he's there. He crept in off the defenders. The fifth Manchester City corner. For the fifth time, Tommy Booth trots up into the penalty area to see if he can get ahead to it. Coming for it now. Bell makes it. Law, yes! Nicely done by Bell. Gives Marsh some freedom in the middle of the pitch. Weller coming to challenge him. Lee. Tucked through for Bell. Law! Oh no, is Marsh claiming that or is Law? Hello. And they trying to get through with a chance and he gets a chance. And it's a fine goal. Could have been taken. The leading up work there done by Miller. 33 minutes gone. Aberdeen lead 1 0. Ian Purdy, the scorer. The leading up work was done by Willie Miller. <laughs> Young takes it right footed. McLean. Six minutes played in the second half, and Rangers are level. Alderson. Oh, he's done it well. And it's going to go! Lee trying to make it. Just too crowded there. Now Doyle. Law, and they're not in by Summery. Alderson, Hutchison coming up, Alderson there, it's got to be, and is! Paul Tenning now to stick more and more often, how surprisingly, here's Lee, and he's made it! The long one down, here's Marsh. Law, Bell, And no question. His bell. Good play. Towers. And driven home by Law. It's all over now. No question now as Lee takes Law for a ride of delight. And the Hugs from Summerby, Manchester City without question, are in the semi-final of the Football League Cup. Runs out to the right, Stanton inside him, Warboys in the area, so is Bannister. And he's done well, and it's in for Warboys! Up goes Martin. And a great one! Beautiful goal from Duncan McKenzie. Roberts, a good challenge in the air for that one. Donaghy, a gift to Latchford. One nothing. Oh, what a tragedy. Four minutes. Heath McRae, no chance with that one. Marsh. For Lee. It's a naughty one. That's Law. That's the way Dennis Law scores his goals. Holton is going forward. Just wait, he says to Willie Morgan. Let me get there. And get there he does. Yes! Touch on for Armstrong. Back again for McNabb. McNabb's pulled back for Kennedy. 1-1. The following season they beat Manchester United again, this time in the FA Cup at Old Trafford. Now it's Kevin Beattie, 
number six. Kevin Beattie putting Ipswich ahead. 1-0 to Ipswich. Could be on. to Fraser, Lloyd is square, now strong, oh what a goal by Mullery, Alan Mullery getting Fulham off to a tremendous start, was Worthington and here's Glover oh yes what a fine goal Mellor could do nothing about that one and Len Glover who's been Leicester's most dangerous forward in this first half gets his name on the score sheet they expect Bremner to go into the line he's there And he usually ducks away at the last moment, giving Lorimer a little bit more space. But that gap should be closed up. Here's Lorimer. A ricochet, and it's a goal! <laughs> Lorimer, lovely control, and a good cross. In comes Jordan. <laughs> the fabulous goal. Robson almost got it. This is Rainey now. Maidley here. Cooper on his left. Rainey right over the far side calling for it. Up goes Jordan. Lorimer going to get this one. Jordan again. It's like shelling peas. It's men against boys at the moment. Cooper. Good play by Cooper. Is he brought down? No, he's right under the referee's nose. He went down pretty well, but they're still in possession. Yorick. And the Peterborough defence in complete disarray. taking on Simkin once again this time finding McDermott who will shoot and a great shot what a goal what a goal by Terry McDermott Lambert Brian Hamilton's wide on the left this is Lambert oh my word what a shot Brian Hamilton now got Weimark and uh, Lambert over the far side and Johnson too if Burley can get it over not strong enough. And now it's Weimark. A terrible error at the back for Southampton. Mills. Yes, Brian Hamilton. Beatty. Johnson. Now Weimark. Johnson, Weimark, yes, Hamilton again, Mills, oh my word, what on earth happened to that? And 
he won't have been too pleased with that but he's got it out to Burns still Burns setting himself for a shot And there is Sadek crouching, which is usually the sign that he's going to try the banana. There it goes, and in it goes! He'll be pleased with that! Dave Watson at the far post. Taken by Porterfield. And that's good! And it's there! It's there from Vic Hallam in the second minute of the game. Vic Hallam scoring with a powerful header from a free kick taken by Ian Porterfield. Malone beating Boland. Kerr to bring it back. And the header from Hughes! A beautiful header from Billy Hughes! And justice is done! Dennis Stewart, who might have had a penalty a moment ago. And there it is! Second goal. Hallam. Giving Kitchener the run round. Getting the ball back. Good pass from Kerr. Malone. And it should be there! And it is! And that's Billy Hughes' second goal. Billy Matheson down that touchline towards Scott. Scott and Ace about Tun Waddle at his heels. Scott getting it across. McLean, goal. <laughs> Tommy McLean has scored up. Penman on the right wing. Through to Jim Kant. Lovely ball through to Penman. Penman teeing it up on the byline, getting it low across. Goal, turned in and a chance, and it's there. Fletcher has scored. And Andy Penman made it. The teams are level. 17 minutes played in the second half. Penman. Back to Donald. It's a nice one. Headed in and it's a goal. Arbroath, two goals in two minutes. The lead by two goals to one. Two goals in two minutes. Billy Perry's 14th goal of the season. And again, Andy Penman involved in it. Penalty to Rangers. The second penalty of the match. Derek Parlane this time. And that's it. Penman, a nice back killer there to Walker. Through towards Fletcher. Can Fletcher move it? It's a chance here. Fletcher on his own. He's got Perry on his right. Fletcher coming right through. Scoops a 10 and it's a goal! A tremendous finish from Arbroath. John Fletcher's second goal of the match and Arbroath lead 3-2, four minutes to go. Clark. Madeley going on a sprint outside him. Madeley's turned inside for Jones! Good ball on for Jordan. Could score with his first touch in the game. And he's going to. The danger again of Leeds on the break and the cool marksmanship of... Tudor flicking on and McDonald. Tudor back to McDonald. Because the strike forwards combining well. And McDonald cutting in for a shot. And now Barraclough laying it off for Hibbert. And Tudor must score! Number four. The curling one's come away from here And he's in there eventually. I know. A goal for Leeds by Billy Bremner who has won so many cup ties for them in the past and puts them ahead at a crucial moment in this one. Last year's cup final losers Leeds obviously fancied their chances against second division Bristol City but a draw in the first game had them worried. The ball, here is through. <laughs> Leeds defence absolutely wide open. Newcastle in the yellow shirts. 
Tudor forward in the inside right position. McDonald in the centre forward position, just left of the penalty spot. Pulling away, here's McDonald! <laughs> Moncair has done a lot of tidying. Smith, who's done everything well right from the moment he came on. McDonald's Tudor! By the clock! Clark. What a good ball to Barraclough. Tudor! The sixth round tie against Nottingham Forest. Waiting for the support, and there it is, Brian Hall. Callaghan. Callaghan stringing for the middle. Waiting for Hall, it's a good one! Hall shot! It's there! Off the post! Bosma spun away from his foot. Waddle. Talbot going with him. It's come through. It's come right through. Keegan. There it is. He was a bit lucky to get it. Worthington for Samuels. Birchinall taking it up. Rove making a tremendous run down there for Leicester City. Inside again for Earl. Flicked on and a goal by Stevie Earl. Beautifully played by Leicester City. Virginals jump. Gordon can stretch. And Glover now in possession for Leicester. There's the cross again. And yes, it's Steve Earl, the number two. And that could indeed be the killer goal. Early in the second half. Thompson again. Weller cutting it out for Leicester. Worthington's in the middle waiting for him. And Weller got it across and Worthington went in! 3-0! Earl darting after this one again, but Thompson's got him this time. Whitworth to Weller. Lovely, close control there by Weller. Still with Weller. Oh, and what a fantastic goal! We broke away, and Keith had to get... I, I can't remember who he went round. He squared the ball, Harvey came out, and I just stuck my foot out in front of Norman Hunter, and, and then the rest is history. And then Norman joined the shot. It's Beale, now Morris. Looking for Hamilton on the far post, who got there. Weimark going in! Oh, fine goal! Weimark the scorer as Ipswich take the lead. Wants to use the long throw. Peters on the near post, moving towards him now. England arrives. Perryman's header, England. McGrath, here comes Pratt. Good goal! In a season when they also established a European footprint, then it was Leicester, where Worthington played the best football of his career and won eight England caps. Now Jax almost got to that one, and it might leave Exeter a chance to spring forward with a number of men. Here's uh, Joy, still with Joy, hit across there. Oh, and a tremendous goal! A tremendous goal there, scored by Bauka. A truly tremendous headed goal. Tideman again with a corner. And Galvin is there, and it's there! I think it finally came off Yeo, but Galvin, I think, was the man who downward headers, he came up with that corner. With about 18 minutes of the second half gone, as Galvin turns it in again, this time it'll come for Yeo, and now it comes for Wilkes, can he make this one count? Oh, what a great goal! What a tremendous goal by Alan Wilkes! And that puts Gillingham 2-1 into the lead. He hadn't. The magic was still there, and the goals still kept coming. This is Dennis Law. Can he get in a shot? It's there! He's never been the greatest trainer in the world, because he didn't have to. Madeley. 
Bremner. Ooh, well, that was... Smith went flying in then. Bremner knew it, dragged the ball away from him. That really was a wild one. And the goal is given! The goal is given! Bremner! But Leeds pick up the attack. Johnny Giles. Clark going through on the right. And Clark in for one here. And he's got it. It's 2 0. Alan Clark. And Stoke are in some trouble now. I wonder what Stoke has got organised for this. And there's some uh, banging going on in the box between Joe Jordan and Smith behind the four man wall. Hudson down for Petchick to hammer. What a goal! By Petchick. What a goal! Patrick's second league goal of the season and he puts Stoke right back in the game Greenoff down to Ritchie and now Robertson Ellen going with Robertson for the far post Ritchie knocks it back and Hudson gets in there he's there Alan Hudson has scored his first goal for Stoke City in the centre and there's Wilson with a beautiful goal Paul Wilson scores for Celtic a cracking right foot shot right on the 20 minute mark a beautiful move what from the left exquisitely by Hood and Brogan infield to Munchen back again to Hassler Tema Mills on the left wing Hassler cuts infield instead Celtic falling back there's a through ball there's a chance, there's a shot, and there's a goal. Williams got a touch to it, but couldn't hold it. And Hitzfeld has equalised in the 27th minute. Oh, the mat. Certainly has a long run here. Here he comes. There it goes, a beauty. And it's there! What a goal! What a goal in the 31st minute. by McNeil, Wilson trying to find on leash, that's cleared only as far as Danny McGrain McGrain trying to put the pressure back on again he's got Murray on his right McGrain shoves it through towards Dogleash McGrain, back to Dogleash Dogleash flicking it in, the goal is given Dogleash has scored and has equalised for Celtic in the 12th minute of the second half and no player deserves it more it's there Superbly stuck, a right foot shot, giving Evan Williams not the ghost of a chance. It's a good ball to Martin. Daly. Did well, second time. McCary shot. Lou McCary, the scorer. Nice dummy. Abbott finds Gibbons. Shivers will take the kick. And scores to make it 1-1. Well, Rangers are sick about that. This is Francis. Touched by Abbott. His bowls. Oh, yes! 2-1. Jennings must have been unsighted, I think. Fine shot, though, by Stanley Bowles. Givens against Dillon, who did very well. Thomas now. Oh, beauty! Jerry Francis! Bailey again. Marshall's claiming that was handball. It's with Palmer. And now Sunderland. 
Back for Palmer again. Now, is this the moment? Hibbert with a shot! Yes! Wolves go into the lead! And it's Kenny Hibbert who does it. With a minute to go at the half-time. Donaghy. Towers again. Played this time for Rodney Marsh. And he's got it in well. Oh, and this is a chance for Bell, and he's taken it, and that is 1-1. Rodney Marsh, the architect of the game. Rowe again up there. And Rowe having it knocked off the top of his head there by uh, Tommy Boo. Here's Bailey. Boston again for Sunderland. And now this is a chance for Richards. Oh, and he's got it, John Richards. It's Air United 1 up. Great chance for Dundee to draw level. Scott taking it. Twenty-seventh minute, John Scott makes it one all and again from a penalty kick. This kick to be taken by Johnny Graham. Can't score direct, of course. That was Fleming who rushed in there. Number 11, take, take the score. Here goes Gemmel with his right foot. Gemmel gets the goal, but it was deflected into goal there. So, coming up is penalty from Johnny Graham. United 3, Dundee 2. <laughs> Nicely played to Dial. Good reverse pass by Murphy. Exactly one minute left. 3 2 for air. Ferguson, Ferguson, Brett Ferguson, the substitute player, making it 4-2 with a splendid header there. Miss the quarter final against QPR, and a little guy called Joey Waters came and scored two great goals. Waters! to get up there, Bowyer's after it, and ahead, and a goal, a goal, Ian Bowyer, one minute and 30 seconds into the game, and Ian Bowyer keeps his cup tie goals going, what a tremendous shot, it stunned these Newcastle fans, Newcastle's second corner of the game, McDonald on the line, Lyle, it's a bad ball, oh, and it's a goal, it's the equaliser, from Craig, Craig has got it, it's 1-1. 25 minutes of the first half. Lyle to take the corner. Sorella's up on the line. So is McKenzie in the six-yard box. It's across the goal, and it's Bowyer misses it, and it is in there now. That is O'Kane, who has put Forrest into the lead. And the combination of that... Offence, the foul on McKenzie, presents Lyle with the opportunity of putting Forrest 3-1 ahead. 
He's there. And Forrest have now got a 3-1 lead. 59th minute. It's number four, Terry McDermott. And it's 3-2. So the ten men have got back into the game. Well won by Hibbert. Hibbert still going. Right in behind Forrest. It's a good cross ball and it's Duda. It's 3-3. Three, three. What a beautiful goal. Johnny Tudor sends the ground, erupts again. Newcastle spectators on their feet. What a fabulous goal then by Johnny Tudor. So the ten men have picked themselves right up off the floor. It's all tied up at 3-3. For Tudor. Tudor hammering it. McDonald, there it is! The winner, surely, Bobby Moncur. 4-3. What an incredible reversal. 89 minutes, one minute to go. And Bobby Moncur has scored it. Boston have 10 matches to play. Six of those are away from home. And the gap will still be eight points. Here's Toshak. High wave, he can get through and he can! Run of only two defeats in 19 games. Derby recovered to finish third. That was Davis. That was Hector. That was McFarland. An injury sustained playing for England meant Roy McFarland would miss almost the entire... Cross with the head up. Robson just hustled off that ball by Dennis Mortimer. Played through now once more towards Alderson and the shot goes down. And is it there? Yes! The goal is given and has to be given. Mervyn Day really didn't grab hold of that shot from uh, Alderson. And Billy Bonds. A vital penalty to get West Ham back into this game. Billy Bonds against Bill Glazier. And he's got it. Sending Glazier the wrong way. Cross versus Taylor. And Alderson getting in. Here's the cross again, but only Robson is in there. Not in the way for Billy Barnes. Oh, what a goal! Billy Barnes is done it again. What a tremendous goal by Billy Barnes. Willie Carr, the two young Scots. Maguire. Willie Carr again. Lampard turning in one way and the other. A little toe poke. Oh, and a great goal by Willie Carr. What a very fine goal by Carr. With four minutes to go. So we've got uh, Kennedy over the far side. Kelly to take it. Kennedy now making towards the near post. Radford coming over the far side. Out goes Sybil. But Kennedy gets it. And a good one from Ray Kennedy. And now Kennedy. That's not such a good ball. Woods in there well. And here's Weimark on the wrong side of Simpson. A great goal. A beautiful goal by Trevor Weimark. Up goes Weimark and Beatty. Yes, Hamilton. Kelly, driven back by Morris, now Hunter, Burley, Nelson's chip, Radford, George and Beatty, and a good shot, a beautiful goal.
substitute, Joe Gallagher. So now referee Wallace has got to make up his mind. Moments of decision. What, in fact, is going to happen now? Time being taken off. The referee doing all the talking. Goal is given. Goal is given. Number 12, Joe Gallagher has scored it. Now, can Naylor take on and beat Glovats? On to the right foot. There's the cross towards Martin Chivers. Play back again. Now, Chivers, yes! Martin Chivers played for Chris McGrath. A little chip onto the left foot. Martin Chivers on the far side. Coates is going in. Yes, throw Coates. 2-0 to Tottenham. And it looks like being their night again. Law beaten by Mike England. Really upended, but England went for the ball. And Pratt finding Terry Naylor. Here comes a cross from Naylor. Chivers helping it on. Martin Peters, number three. Josh Connolly off the field. Pat McCluskey on. Celtic going all out. There's the corner. A beautiful in swing. And McNeil's there. And that's the goal. <laughs> now Deans to Hood. Murray making ground. Lovely move. Here's Murray. Out in front is a chance for this to goal! Beautiful goal! Dixie Dean's the scorer! What am I bending it out in front? It's a nice one and it's a lovely goal. Beautiful goal. Munchen is the scorer. But there's a lovely ball away to the far side. Celtic funneling back very, very quickly indeed. This Odermatt with a chance of a shot and a great shot. The ball spins loose, it's turned in and it's a goal. Balmer has scored. Short corner. Johnston to his left foot. Back to his right. Doing a lot of work in the ball here. Over comes across. Down to Callaghan. Goal! Callaghan scores! The low cross and comes through. It's Hood inside the box. We're looking for a chance to chip it out in front, which he does. Johnston going in. Headed in under the ball. It's a goal! Murray scores! Stevie Murray scores! That's a good ball to Burns. Well, I think Steele might just make it, but he didn't. What a good ball! Francis. Kendall. Burns is up on the penalty spot. The run being made wide by Martin. Good stuff by Kendall and Francis. And number two. Oh, they did work that so well together. The youngster and the new signing. That looks good for Coates. It was. In my time, even before I played for Manchester United and watching it on. Whittle getting round Emmanuel and getting his cross in well. There's Pussy! So Derek Pussy has scored the goal that breaks the deadlock. Can Don Rogers make it 2 0? Yes, he can. 2 0 to pass. Peter Taylor with the free kick. Again, okay, Pussy going in. by Roy Barry on Keith Fear, a free kick to Bristol City. Here's Jerry Sweeney. Tainton going along outside him. So it's with Trevor Tainton and there's the cross. It's a difficult one! And Whitehead has put it in! 3-1. The substitute is on with a brilliant goal. Minute to go to half-time. Suddick takes the free kick and in goes Glyn James. And now Alcott. The Preston defence... Absolutely caught. 
Francis Burns. On for Neil Young. The deflection took it away from him. Hatton clears to Mickey Burns. On again into that exposed gap for Suddick. Cross deep for Walsh. Beautiful goal. Craig's on his right. Murdoch. Oh, and Foggen going well. And David Mills, a great shot. Brilliant turn, and they've got it. Highway will take the throw. That's Patosha. He got it. Keegan feeding off him. To Highway. Set up on for the cross. Toshek was deep. And it's there. The ball went loose. Brian Hall was in there. But it seemed to ricochet. In the first minute of the second half. Leicester playing against that wall of sound. Earl. Glover. And yes. The goal stands. Edmund Hughes. Cormac. Whitworth. Now Tosha. That's for Keegan. What a goal. Was it? Leeds' second championship had seemed a long time coming, but now the five-year wait was over for Don Revy as he celebrated what would be his last season in charge. Greenoff does well, but it's Macario punching it forward. Macario has got the turn, the spin, and the chance to score here. Good effort! It's there. A great goal by Mac yeah. 
and Greenoff is not offside he's got a chance here of making it two for United well taken and his uh, teammates not positioned quickly enough Cross getting it down trying the shot and he's got a goal Graham Cross what a remarkable moment then for Graham Cross scored only two goals last season one of them was against Leicester and the second minute of the game well that surely has given Leicester the boost they needed searching for Waters deep on the right side that's Earl neatly for Glover fine goal Len Glover fine goal Cross and Burns surely has got one back for Birmingham Ken Burns Kenny Burns scoring his ninth goal of the season his seventh in the league Campbell hooking it forward to break is on for Kenny Burns here now only Shorten to beat and he beat him oh that's the way to beat him well Ken Burns and reflectively Peter Shorten sits there wondering what happened oh what a goal Hatton up neatly down Burns is in good goal his hat trick Ken Burns hat trick and Shorten a very very disconsolate man Keith Weller going against Pendry with Campbell and Taylor in support that's aim for Glover he got it what a good goal what a beautiful little goal it's 3-3 that was a fine fine Hogan. and Armstrong with a chance and it must be no it must be yes and Smith with a chance to break but Bolton beating him and losing it and now it should be it's an old goal it's an old goal long one for Hickton and Hickton going in and squaring it back for Armstrong and he turned it for Foggen Foggen and Murdoch getting in each other's way and now Hickton Run on the right side. There he is. It's a good ball to him from Robin. Lockhead, great by Taylor. But here's McVitie. And he scored. Ipswich did not fear the likes of Liverpool. Johnson, well played. Woods to Johnson. Awkward. Weimark. A superb goal. Smith with a kick. Pull back for Hughes. What a goal! They do not come better. Jump is in there. And now here's Cripps. Always a cheer when Harry Cripps gets on the ball for Millwall. Gordon Hill. A nice touch by him and a good cross there by Alder. Oh, the beautiful goal! Scored by Clark. Beautifully made there for Millwall. Palace defence was all over. So it's uh, Brian King now to make the clearance for Millwall. Barry and Clark poised under that one. Smethurst coming in. Wood is there too. Will it go? It's there and it must go down to Alfred. Again, there was hesitancy in that Crystal Palace defense. Well, Whittle's all right. Rogers with the free kick. Played there for Taylor. Hit beautifully a goal! Play to Doug Alder. Gordon Hill now for Millwall. Good piece of skill there again by Hill, and Alder taking them such a good position. Oh, and this time is Alford. They've been caught out again in defence. Can Don Rogers 
the man with the responsibility of this penalty, beat Brian King and bring it back to 3-2. Yes, he can. 3-2. Arthur trying to get there. again square to Doglish McGrain lofting it forward Wilson the cutback he what a goal beautiful goal David Hay makes it 2-0 34 minutes played in the first half Number eight. Scanlon is on the six yard line. Randall's there as well. So was Needham. Good header, Wally. That's a shot by Masson. Oh, he scored! Completely out the blue. So another corner for Luton Town. Floated high this time, and Faulkner! So great goal there for Luton Town just when they wanted it. Come on, Jimmy! Good run again by Anderson. Yes, will it go? Yes, it has! Peter Anderson! Well, the fella deserved to go for those breaks through the middle. And that was another beautiful break. And there's Garner at the other end. No play on! Wow, that's incredible! Here's Heinsohn, and that's number three! The linesman absolutely adamant on the far side, but Gordon Heinsohn was in an onside position. Mills decided not to use his goalkeeper, trying to get it across to Burley. Gray, Clark, Maidley. That was meant for Bremner, for Queen, finding Lorimer. Richardson coming towards the near post. We've got uh, Kenny Hill, the centre half, at the back again. Cox Hill on the edge of the area. George Jacks on the penalty spot. Brian Yeo on the far post. Jacks. Oh, yes! Jacks had it. Did Yeo get a touch? Well, the man they don't see till too late. 
And now the Richardson gets on the wrong side of him. Yeo coming into the near post. Here's Yeo. That's the way he nips in on them. And Gillingham go clearly into a 2-0 lead. Some will be sending Barrett back out onto the wing. That was Boo's header. Law. Stewart. He's away. Coleman is having difficulty controlling Dennis Stewart. Queuing up for the headers. And Bell has got it. Young taking that left footed. Scott, a back head up, headed in, it's a goal. Fife will get the credit for that goal, which comes in exactly two minutes. Rangers, one goal up. Great. Well done by Argue. And Hunter lofting it forward. Fife trying to control it. He will not to get a second chance. And Graham Fife. Makes it 2 0 for Rangers with nine minutes to go to half time. Henry Hall dispossessed there by Fife. McDonald, many miscues. Young has parlayed in the centre. Young drives it in first time. That's goal number three for Rangers. And Quinton Young is the scorer. And the time is ten and a half minutes in the second half. Here to the near post, a back header and a chance, and it's a goal. St Johnson have scored. Yarat, attaquant le plus dangereux. Ou pas. Yarat, oui. Voilà. Enfin, enfin un but. Enfin un but. C'est Yarat qui marche sur une phase déroulée, ça. Louis. Becerra, Capone, tire et but, un but fantastique, but marqué par le capitaine de l'Atletico, but de Adelardo, but de Adelardo à la 85e minute, oh, un but superbe. Brooking inside, here's Brooking, Hughes covering the run, back again to Best, to Patton, to Lampard, it's still on for West Ham in spite of the groans, now McDowell, Best, Lampard. Oh, what a goal! And suddenly the groans of the crowd become ecstatic cheers. I'm surely one of the best goals seen here this season. All good pace. Ball across it too. Did well. Here's Toshak. Toshak is the scorer. Looking, making the run in the inside right position. Here's Holland. Heading out to the left. Best is there for the knockdown to Brooking. What a superb level goal. Ray Clements will be hoping what's happened this Saturday doesn't repeat itself next week. And Liverpool still going up full throttle. Here's Hall. Callaghan to his left. Trying to create some space for Cormac and has done so. Hughes is up in the area. So is Keegan! One England captain in the making. Lions using the arms. Still Shannon, his Gilchrist, Osgood closing in, and that's his first goal for Southampton. Peter Osgood has scored at last in his tenth game. It's 
Fisher. It was a good run and he's onside. It's Shannon. And it's 2-0 for Southampton. No wonder Laurie McMenamin is delighted. O'Neill. Shannon. Two players just behind him in support. But that was an even better ball. Here's O'Neill. It was a fair shot. And a lovely goal by Brian O'Neill. David Lawson can't believe it. Doyle. Some will be slotting it through nicely for Bell. Stewart is away on the left. Lee. Pulled across for Law! Dennis has done it! And no elation there at all from Dennis Law. Suggett then is preparing to take this kick. Though Butler number two is there as well. Suggett's kick. That was a good try and a great goal! Well, that was... Hind forward. Stringer gets it away. Roberts. Now Burns. Clearance only goes as far as Kendall. Hatton stretched wide on the left. Trying the shot. Oh, what a goal! How is it possible to get that one in there? Bob Hatton, the scorer, equalises. And for the first time, Birmingham spectators are on their feet, applauding this moment. Hind whacking it forward for Birmingham. Hatton's there. Forbes gets it away. Only as far as Burns. Stretch wide now for Taylor. Going against uh, Butler. Look for Burns. It's there. It's given. Yes, indeed. Burns has made it 2-1. With still about two minutes to go. To half time. Burns, the man who's just been voted the West Midlands Footballer of the Year, puts Birmingham in front 2-1. A lot of players in the penalty area. A goal! The goalkeeper standing still. It looks like Chris Jones has scored it. That looks like Chris Jones' 20th goal of the season. It is indeed. There's the wall and Whittle again. Curling it against the goal! It's a beautifully flighted goal by Whittle. And he's so delighted, he curled that beautifully. It hit the post and bounced the right way for Oldham Athletic. So Clark puts it out. Liverpool get a throw. And Newcastle at the moment looking just a little disorganised. Here's Hall. And now a chance for Keegan. And that's it. Kevin Keegan. A score for Liverpool. That one stands and Clements is happy. But Paul just got his hand to it. But he couldn't stop it. And that is the breakthrough. Kevin Keegan, top scorer. 18 goals this season, Jack. Now just a quarter of an hour to go. Liverpool won the scorer, Kevin Keegan. Newcastle, no. A backheader there by Toshak now for Highway. Number two, Steve Highway. That's the one, I think. Shankly being hugged by the others on the bench. Highway being mobbed. McFall has to pick it out of the net for the second time. Confidence is really oozing out of them now. Spraying it around. Nice, simple passes, but always accurate. So comforting to know you've got a couple of goals in the bank with just a couple of minutes left. Kevin Keegan trying his tricks, and there's the floating cross again. Tommy Smith almost arrogantly putting it there for Brian Hall. Back again for Tommy Smith. Turned inside for Highway. Playing it again for Smith. What a good move. Oh, and yes, it's there by Keegan. His second goal. And what a move that led to it. We just said that he does.
Newcastle have not played with confidence on this offside trap. They tried to do it there and they didn't get away with it because they weren't confident in it. Deans laying it on for Hood. Hood scores. Deans Hood again, Johnston. Dalglish, a great ball. Dixie Deans. Deans scores. Crowd fairly silent, and one or two voices filtering up. Come on, England, you can do better than this. Certainly not the champagne football that we had expected when seeing the side that Joe Mercer had selected. It's Keith Weller now trying a low one. That's a goal. That is a goal. Stan Bowles has scored his first international goal, and that's got to be a mistake by the goalkeeper. 36 minutes. Bowles will take the corner. For Nish. For post ball, everybody's up. And Keegan tries it. Oh, and a missed kick. Did Shannon get a touch? Well, it's difficult to say whether that's going to be credited as an own goal against this young man, Tony Villers. Gives the ball away. Shot is going to come fast. And the shot is on for Jordan. And it's in. It's an own goal in fact by Pritchett, but it's count. Johnston trying to turn against Pritchett. Now Lorimer. That was handball. Douglas in. And it's a goal. Well, that was a remarkable goal. In the final of the UEFA Cup. England! Third time lucky for Tottenham. In fact, he wants them back at 10 yards. But Hanukkah can bend and did! coming across the box trying to lose it out and I don't think England knew anything about it but I think his was the last body to touch it Mike England I think will get the credit for that Christensen De Jong Christensen the vessel to his right that's a great ball to De Jong Still not 10 yards away. The ball with Keith Weller. Oh, it was nowhere near finding uh, Watson on the left, but this time they have found Watson. The defence pushing out. Bell, who's found room. On for number eight, Shannon. And this is the first goal. to watch this ball too from Worthington to his club captain Weller and see here where the Weller was pushed he was nowhere near the ball it surely had to be a penalty that's Bell Worthington goal Kempis Wonderful change of pace, good a ball to and Shilton, one hand, and following up was Kempis, and Shilton clapped his hands then, stuck back in the net, less than two minutes to go for the Argentinians to draw them. Kempis placing the ball, and it's now Kempis versus Shilton.
3. Shannon oder Brookings, Shannon. Oh, hervorragend gemacht. Von, von äh, Shannon hervorragend gemacht, das 1 zu 1. Aber die Wiederholung wird uns zeigen. Taylor, much too close to the ball. Just by his fingertips and it's in. Scored by Weissbergen. De Jong and Schoenmacher in the middle and wrestle deep. Knocked back for Boskamp, the substitute. Wrestle with a chance to shoot and he scores. And that wraps it up. Wrestle has done it. Keegan with the corner. Shannon, Watson, Worthington, all in the box. Watson got there. Chance on for Brookings. Hacimovic, Hadzi Abdic, draws ball, Watson away, Bell giving it away to Petkovic, and Shuriak, good cross, John John Petkovic has equalized, Petkovic gets it 1-1, 22 minutes of this game, and the number seven Petkovic gets the, the goal, Jaich again. Got to watch these crosses. Hachimovic just Oblak. And a beautiful goal. What a goal from Oblak. Oh, wasn't that a screamer? There's a sight that might uh, cause the Scottish fans. Almost like a boxer fighting in little bursts. As though a signal's been called. Kevin Keegan.